The day's play takes you along for a walk in the lushness of the Almeda Botanical Gardens here in Gibraltar. I'm International Master Tanya Sachdev bringing you insights from the Tradewise Gibraltar Chess Festival. Welcome back. The final round and eight players in the lead. With matchups against each other, this is their shot at the big finish. A tie is highly likely, in which case playoffs will decide the big winner. The Muzichuk sisters and Yulia Schweger are in a half-point lead for the women top prize. But the army of players right behind them makes it equally unpredictable. The day's play caught up with our leaders. Today's game I was so lucky. I think my opening or middle game he played very very well, but uh, only mi one mistake and after that uh, uh, I think he missed something and uh, he won't quick draw. So that's why he played b5. I think this, this move was very, very, very bad and after that I was so lucky I find some way and uh, he missed something so finally I win. I think uh, he looked at my games obviously and uh, he came up with a new plan. The bishops got very powerful and uh, the, the center pawns on uh, d4 and d5 are uh, extremely dangerous. I just escaped with a draw but uh, of course it wasn't, uh, it wasn't good position. One round to go and it's an intense fight for top finishes. The leaderboard is still a party of many impressive players. It's anyone's tournament. We've seen them in action and with their play to slay attitude, it's tough to predict what's about to happen. We speak to our chess experts, the dynamic duo Elizabeth Pyatt and Grandmaster Simon Williams on who to watch out for. Uh, well, at the moment we have four players who are in first. I've been very impressed with Bacro, he's a French player. If you take Maxime, he's, he's done a very good job here because he's in the Wales elite as well. But he is taking more risks in his chess and of course he's leading the competition at the moment. But a great chance for the final two games to go. One of our favourite guys we have to admit this, this is Richard Rapport from Hungary. He's always a very um, enthusiastic and uh, cheerful player, especially with his age pawn. There is a big love. Um, I will of course shoot my, I mean, cross my fingers for Harry Krishna because he's one of my best friends. And he is like one of the guys with six and a half out of eight plus. You have all the strong female players here. And again, they bring a lot of dimensions and a lot of great chess to the tournament. I mean, we have right now some girls, I'm I think with five and a half out of eight, like Maria Mutsushuk, for, for guys like Nakamura or Nant, much, much harder here to, to actually beat grandmasters who are supposed to be much weaker when they actually done all their homework. So that's probably one of the reasons why we result with four players up. I love to see Maxime win. He's a lovely guy. He's done this masterclass, really easy to speak to. So Maxime's my bet. When it comes to opening repertoire and home preparation, then I mean, it's not a surprise that we have here a lot of players very tight uh, to, to compete for the first place. I'll be back tomorrow with all our big winners. Don't forget to tune into our final round on the live broadcast. See you very soon. Bye for now.